Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. We play the hard <laughs> An independent artist. Hey, yo, what it do? This is your man, Sneaky Slick, and you're now tuned in to Triple F Radio. Peace, peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. I know what it is. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. You want to donate? You're trying to build this podcast? Donate. If you don't, you don't. We're still going to be rocking out here. Don't forget to check out my people over in the Triple Up Entertainment. If you're trying to um, get your music spin on, on the air. Local. Upcoming. If you're trying to get your music played. Hit up Triple Up Entertainment. I'm outside today, boy. It's a cloudy day. Cloudy day out here. But, yo. I want to talk to some of you YouTubers, man. Some of y'all be doing some crazy shit. And, uh, my thing is this. Some of us really came from the streets. Like, for real was really out in the streets, was out there getting it, I really did time. Some of us did a lot of time, some did more than others. Some ain't do so much, but some of us came to this YouTube platforms because we got a story and we're really trying to help the youth because our story can't help the youth because the youth they gonna listen to who they can relate to. They ain't gonna listen to y'all green ass niggas. They ain't never been through nothing. You try to tell them to put their guns down. You ain't never even busted a gun. They ain't gonna listen to you. Same thing goes with addiction. You can't have somebody that's sober all their life try to teach somebody how to be sober that's been an addict all their life. It's not gonna work. So some of us use these platforms for that. Um. That's why you see a lot of the bloods just coming home from New York. They got the other homies putting them on, on their channels, building up their channels. Some of us don't have that luxury of people. We just out here grinding from the from the from the jump. Every subscriber we earn, we ain't going nobody else's platform and get a boost or nothing. But we all have the same mission, and it's to reach the youth and try to teach them something that the real niggas a myth. The streets ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? And doing times for suckers, just sitting in there rotting away. And most of the time, when niggas like us come home, somebody give you half a brick, quarter brick, whole brick, give you some kind of work, something to put you on your feet. And that's what they call showing love, but really they just putting you right back in the situation to get locked up. So for us to come home and have a platform like YouTube to reach somebody and also generate some income and not work for nobody, you know what I'm saying? Now nah, I hear slaving working for some for somebody else, you out here doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh make your own hours, do what you want to do. So when you out here come home, you get out and you got a platform like this and you can utilize it as a tool. As a positive tool, it's a good thing. So I'm saying all this to say Hassan Campbell had a situation in Bronx River. Well, he spoke about it. Somebody tried to up the ratchet on him. He said he had to, you know, pull out the Bible and read some scriptures for those, you know, read between the lines, whatever it is. He's the one that said that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just repeating what the man said. But we have a YouTuber. I don't know how Buddy got access to the footage when you uploaded the footage. That's some green ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the man has charges, he's been locked up, and you put in the footage of this man, knowing that the police get a hold of that footage, you sending him right back to jail, taking him away from his kids, and so forth. I don't agree with everything Hassan does. I don't even know Hassan. Even though I was a Zulu, and he was a Zulu, I never met him, you know what I'm saying? I do know my, my tight homeboy, He's part of the Gestapo's. He did security for the meeting with Bandit. Apologized to Hassan. He admitted it. 
what he did to Hassan and apologized and he was supposed to step down. And that's when they released, the World Council released the meeting that they had the footage of Ben Bada stepping down. My boy was a security there. So I know all that is true. But you uploading the footage of the man. I don't even know how you got that footage, first of all, but to upload that footage, bro, that's some police ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get this man took away from his kids. Like I said, I don't I don't agree with him or everything he says. Like 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 a lot of stuff he says, he just be overdoing it. But that's that's him. That's how he get his name out there, whatever. This is shock value to his channel, whatever it may be. But to put up the video, I won't even do that to my enemies, dog, because that's police. That's police shit, bro. I would never if I had beef for the nigga put up a video of him doing anything, committing any crimes or anything. You understand what I'm saying? And for somebody that's trying to change their ways and change their life and they're making an income doing something positive, why would you why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand y'all cats. So <coughs> what I'm saying is this, bro. Some of y'all be going to the extreme for likes, views, and uh, you going to the extreme of policing and telling on people. You know what I'm saying? That's just not what it is, bro. So, you know, like, I would take that video down, man, because you, you're trying to take a man away from his kids doing some bullshit like that. That shit ain't what it is, man. It, YouTube ain't, <coughs> ain't that important <coughs> to be labeled a snitch. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like I said, I don't know Hassan. I ain't defending him or not, no, nothing like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying on some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? I have been accused. I did a video while I joined Zulu Nation, while I left Zulu Nation. You can go check it out. I dropped it in November last <laughs> last year when the anniversary was going to happen. And I was accused of Hassan paying me and all this and that to do that. And I never met that cat, bro. I don't even know that cat. You know what I'm saying? I just know that some police that shit you did. And uh, niggas don't respect that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the real niggas that's coming home. And just trying to make a change in the community. And they're using these YouTube platforms to reach these youths, man. I keep doing what y'all do. Stay sucker free. And bust free. And watch what you do. Because you already know these other YouTubers. They out here snitching, dog. It's your boy Zulu King Street fame. You know what it is. We all gas, no brakes. You ain't going to be good. At least be safe.